Here's the design of my home fish farm. I have a 1,000 litre or 264 gallon aquaculture tank. There's a tapered bottom. I have a fish screen which stops the fingerlings from being sucked into the filtration system. This is a very simple socket ball valve which enables easy cleaning of the disc filter and the canister filtration system. Here's the disc filter. I have a 4,900 litre or 178 gallon per hour inline pump. I have a canister filter. This does mechanical filtration via sponges, biological filtration via bioballs and UV light systems to control algae. I'm pumping around 800 litres per hour, 211 gallons, into the system via an air pump. I have a small camera mounted on the side of the tank so I can remotely monitor the system. This costs around 2096 Australian or 1520. So you've seen my design. Now this is the actual system here. Now what I've really tried to do is have something that's aesthetically pleasing. I think of a cheap one. We've got our pump, our filtration, our ear pump systems locked away in here. We've got a thousand litre tank and we're nestled in a small footprint. About two metres by two metres or seven foot by seven foot. You can't see the fish farm from street level and you also can't see the filtration equipment. Here's all the stuff that I need to run my fish farm day to day. The uh, canister filter, um, there's the uh, disc filter and right in the back there there's the inline pump and here's the ear, ear pump. Uh, the camera system sits under that plastic container which gives it some waterproof abilities in terms of the rain. I set out researching fish farms. Um, I, look, I saw many people's small fish farms on YouTube. One of the issues I found was they all looked like big containers sitting around and, and very unappealing on to the eye. So I said about doing something that hopefully is aesthetic and, and, and looks good and I think I've achieved that. In terms of productivity of, in the fish farming side, I certainly haven't achieved that. I'm just starting out. So hopefully you can follow me and I'll, I'm sure I'll have some trials and tribulations but hopefully I'll have some success and, uh, and some learnings. So uh, please subscribe. Thank you.